Hey guys, Matt here. I came across something while I was looking at my sandbox today that I felt you might find interesting, uh, particularly this little pink salmon color here. That's a virus signature, so I caught a virus on my mail server. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a look and see what it is we caught. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and check out my logs. I'm gonna to try to find this and I can find, I can see that there's a lot of information surrounding this, although I do believe this to be the message in question. And looking through this, looking through the logs, I can see where the, it's, it came from some sort of Yahoo address and from there, it got queued for sandbox scan since it contained a Microsoft doc Office document. This is a great thing if you're trying to avoid uh, any kind of uh, email attacks, whether it's a phishing attack or even some sort of email binary attack. So there have been a lot of instances of this happening recently in the news by a number of organizations who have either end up, ended up with ransomware or had their information fished, and the goal here is to try to minimize the occurrence of that. Uh, as you can see, it's been sent to the 40 sandbox, and the next log over tells us that it, the scan result is that it is, a, it is malicious and that it is some sort of VBA Trojan downloader. More on how it determined that in a minute. At this point, we go ahead and we can see that it's been processed by Forta Sandbox and it did find one malicious file. So at this point I am convinced and I'm totally happy with the fact that it's found a file that I'm not supposed to be seeing on my network. Put someone else in my shoes or in your shoes who got this file, who may have gotten this file, they could have opened it and ended up in a world of hurt just based on what we're seeing lately with ransomware attacks. I'm going to switch over to the Fortis Sandbox here and let's actually take a look and see what we found. So if I go to Threats by Devices, so I know this came from my Fortis Mail here. And I'm going to go ahead and click on this guy and see what we came up with. Not very high traffic, but as you can see, this guy came up here. And he, this is our VBA Trojan downloader. I want to know more about this. I want to know how he came to this conclusion. So through its analysis, it went ahead and ran the file and it saw a couple things that a Word doc was doing. Mainly, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and call attention to a few of these things. These are typically things you don't see a Word doc doing. Your Word doc, even any macro embedded Word doc shouldn't be trying to decrypt strings or shouldn't be trying to make calls to your shell with obfuscated arguments to the Forty Sandbox, that means this document is acting nefariously and therefore it is not worth the risk and has determined that it is malicious. I hope this was helpful and informative. I hope you have a happy and safe 4th of July. I'll be doing a Forty Manager series coming up soon, so if there's anything you want to see with Forty Manager, uh, please feel free to leave in the comments and I will make every effort to include that in the series. Thanks for watching.